First thing I want to talk about is safety. This is Tech Sergeant Jason Seibel. You can't see him? Well, that's the idea. He's readying more than 40 Osan Security Forces personnel for a nighttime proficiency firing exercise, or pro-fire. Because we are in, in Korea and the job that we do is a little bit more based in air-based defense than your average uh, stateside base, per se, then we actually we do a little bit more pro-fire. We actually mix it up a little bit better. We've, we've got some, some really cool courses of fire that we've run them through. The new pro-fire initiative means Air Force bases will spend more time inspecting their assigned weapons. But to Catam at Osan, that just means more time to knock out some training in new ways. A lot of people are used to coming to the Catam range and seeing a target shooting their 30 rounds and leaving. This puts them in a different situation. They're going to have a lot of ambient noise going. They might have some smoke in the face. And they're going to have to be able to engage targets while under the, that amount of stress. It might be dark, and it certainly is loud. But when these airmen fire weapons outside of training, they won't just get a few rounds to fire from the prone position. If we're going to be engaging somebody, it's going to be fast. You're not going to have that much time to think. You're going to have to recognize your targets. You're going to have to engage. Um, and this is similar to that, uh, incorporating everything from rapid reloads to trigger control and your breathing control all, all at one time. Each quarter, Osan will have a new pro-fire exercise, but that just means Tech Sergeant Seibel and his team will be out to find new ways to keep security forces sharp. Senior Airman Kevin Kite, Osan Air Base, Korea.